dramatic landscape of the Brecon Beacons in South Wales was home to many who fought at Rourke's Drift. Some veterans of the famous battle reported that these hills resemble those of South Africa that surrounded the mission station they fought so doggedly to defend. Private David Jenkins came from this rugged Welsh landscape, but until now his presence at Rourke's Drift has been lost in the mists of time. Natal, the Rourke's Drift mission station. Around 150 British and colonial troops fought off up to 4,000 Zulu braves on the 22nd and 23rd of January, 1879. The victory seemed even more incredible given the Zulu warriors had just routed a British force at Isandwana, killing 1,300. Rourke's Drift and some of the defending force, like Commander Lieutenant John Chard VC and Second in Command Lieutenant Gonville Bromhead VC, have gone down in history. And thanks to the perseverance of his great-grandson, Jeff Rees, Private David Jenkins' presence at Rourke's Drift appears to have been proven. This is Lady Elizabeth Butler, a famous Victorian artist who produced this painting, The Defence of Rourke's Drift. Sketches were made for it using real veterans of the battle. Lady Butler visited them in Portsmouth. And this sketch seems to prove that David Jenkins was used as one of the models. My great-grandfather um, seems to have been used as well as a, as a model for various poses in in the painting because the, the sketch that we think may be him because it does have the name Jenkins above it she's written the name Jenkins above it um, it has not just his sketch but also various hand positions on the rifles and there are a number of other little sub sketches that go around it so it is a, it is a drawing of a of a real person a live person in front of Lady Butler Add this to the fact that Jenkins was presented by Grateful Natal natives with a copy of the Rourke's Drift Souvenir Bible and was introduced to the King and Queen when they visited Swansea in 1904 and the evidence begins to mount up. But what more do we know about David Jenkins? I've come to Defenog near Brecon and here I'm hoping to get a sense of the sort of community that David Jenkins came from. And the ideal place to start is the village pub, the Tanner's Arms. Alan Jones is the landlord these days, but in 1879, the publican was David Jenkins' father. A picture of his son is now displayed on the wall, and Alan tells me that locals and visitors are proud of the Rourke's Drift Association. It does feel very special, the, the Rourke's Drift and its connection with not only with Defanog, but also with Brecon nearby and the regiment being based there. Um, it, it does carry um, you know a lot of impact with people from the Brecon beacons to Natal to praise from the king to obscurity the story of David Jenkins is every bit as fascinating as the battles in which he fought thanks to his great-grandson his name will now be added to the role of honor for the defense of Rourke's Drift keeping that name alive forever Tim Cooper forces news Defenog.